Welcome to Informatica support video. I am Priyanka and in this video I will explain you on the usage of parameter file in Power Center. Agenda for the video. Brief introduction to terms parameters and variables and then understanding the parameter file and its significance in Power Center. We will see some of the use cases when in this file will uh, save developers time and what should be the structure of the file and how and where do we configure it in workflow or session level followed by a demo and some tips on troubleshooting parameter file issues let's start understanding the terms power parameter and variables parameter it represents values that can change between session run parameter can be either a built-in parameter or it can be a user-defined parameter. Built-in parameters are integration service name, repository service name, folder name, log file directory, etc. And user-defined parameters are source table name, target table name, log file name, connection, it can be application, relational, or loader connection and etc. A variable is a value that can change as per the information passed to it. It can be a service variable, service process variable, mapping, worklet or work workflow variable. Variables can be a PM root directory, it can be a PM session error threshold or it can be a PM success email user or it can be a workflow status etc. Now we will see what is parameter file. Parameter file it's a mean of providing runtime values for parameters and variables defined in a workflow, worklet, session, maplet or mapping. In simple words, it is a list of parameters and variables and its associated values. More than one workflows, parameters and variables can be configured in a single parameter file under different sections. Uh, or it, in the other way, you can also use multiple parameter files to run the same workflow with a different configuration. Let's take some use cases. Suppose you have a requirement to move data from A to B and say B to C and A, B and C are in a different schema. The mapping logic, database type and column name for all the tables are same. But the only difference is database name is different. In this case, instead of creating two sessions to load data from table A to table B and table B to table C, rather we can create a single session and we can just parameterize the connection. And other example could be, uh, say the mapping logic is same, only different is the data that is passed to the mapping in this case that is you can override the source qualifier query uh, and parameterize that value now we will see what will be the structure of this file you can either define a global section if you define parameters and variables in global section these parameters will be visible to the all workflows where this parameter file is used or you can define parameters at the service level or at the folder level or say at the workflow level or at the session level uh, suppose you have uh, the same parameter defined under global as in, as well as at the session level in that case session value will be taken precedence Parameter file can be configured either at the workflow or at the session level. At the workflow level, you can configure it 
in properties tab and here you can provide the value of the parameter file you can also configure it in at the session level This is the parameter file I am using it uh, for this session. Under service, I have defined PM success email user, and at the workflow level, I have defined only one variable that is platform. And at the session level, I have defined couple of uh, parameters and uh, variables. and of the connection i am uh, instead of using object connection object i am using a connection variable here this value i had defined it uh, in the parameter file And one more property I have used is param as an order override here yeah. and also target name I have not given it directly I will parameterize this as well I'll add a target name as employee underscore one here yeah. and this parameter I'll use it for the target name I have run this session session log will have the overridden values say this is a value that we used for PM success email user and I am overriding connection name aura1 also the overridden value also defined one variable value of this variable can also be overridden in parameter file for time being I have not used it Work workflow log will have details on the location of the parameter file Let's overwrite this value. With the value say 10. At workflow level, I had uh, initialized this variable with value 4. And in the parameter file, I have provided 10. So when the same variable is defined in parameter file as well as at the workflow level, uh, parameter file value will be taken into consideration as you can see here it has echo 10 this is a value which we have used in parameter file some of the troubleshooting tips for uh, parameter file issues verify if uh, parameter file has any control m character if that is the case then you need to run DOS to UNIX and parameter file name and check if the syntax or structure of the parameter file is correct and also verify if a particular variable is uh, not read in a workflow then verify if it is defined in a reachable section that is 
in a single parameter file can have multiple workflow entries. If workflow 1 is using say variable 1 and if you have defined that variable under workflow 2 section then it will not be able to read that value. And with this I complete this video and uh, for more details on parameter file you can refer advanced workflow guide and we would love to hear your comments on this video on our Twitter account and you can also email us on supportvideos at informatica.com. Thank you.